What's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another build video, and today we're going to be going over Eradication Mose. Yeah, this build destroys everything. And I mean everything. With the new Arms Face DLC, we got quite a few good items, and their damage outputs are ridiculous. Combine the new splash weapons with the Mose splash builds, well, it gets a little bit crazy. Anyways, if you do want to download this save for yourself, I will link it in the description, and that save is going to be in PC format. So these save files only going to work on PC. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the build. This will be a splash based build, so everything's gonna be splash damage. And for the annoyance, you wanna go for either consecutive hits or next two mags bonus element damage. Because we're gonna have pretty much infinite ammo and never reload, the next two mags element anoint won't be active all the time. So a big portion of our damage comes from the short fuse skill. So ideally weapons with high fire rate, damage, or pella count are the go-tos. Starting off, we have our prompt critical. Not only does it have really high damage, but it also shoots out three bullets for the cost of one ammo. With that in mind, we can get a lot out of short fuse and get the most out of this weapon. The prompt critical is a pretty good weapon, but it's definitely not the star of the build. Your main weapon is going to be the plasma coil or the boogeyman. The plasma coil doesn't only have really high fire rate, but it also has really high base damage. Now we have the boogeyman, the other star of the build. This also has pretty high base damage and fire rate too. With this mode set up, you can just hold down the trigger and spray everything in your path. Everything's going to die. Plague Bearer, it's not needed, but sometimes you want to clear out a bunch of enemies at once, so shoot this over the battlefield and you beat the game. For the shield, we went for anything that's going to give us damage, and that's pretty much going to be the Old God on Moe's. With the Old God, depending on your elemental resistance, you can get bonus damage on that element. This one has fire, so we have bonus fire damage. For the Grenade, Cloning Maddening Tracker. Now, you do want to try to get this at a low level, because otherwise, it will kill you. If it bounces at your feet, it will activate the Fire into Skagden skill and will instantly down you. So if you want to get one at a low level, go ahead and join a friend in co-op. If you join with a level 1 character with loot instance, you can get one at level 1. It's a pretty cool trick. For the class mod, Blastmaster. For the skills, just try to get one on redistribution, they can be whatever else after that. That will make sure you can stay at full mags and spam infinitely. Because we're never going to reload, we're going to have that 100% bonus splash damage all the time. For the artifact, you want to go for the Pearl of Knowledge. Yeah, it is still a top choice and it's pretty hard to beat. That will give you 90% damage after you stack it. I should mention that the consecutive hits anoint and the Pearl of Knowledge can be stacked with anything. That means if you check the Cloning Maddening Tracker or you apply a damage over time, that will actually stack them. So you can easily stack the consecutive hits anoint up to 200% damage and the Pearl of Knowledge up to 90% damage. The final thing about this anoint is it says misses remove all the bonuses. That is not true. As long as enemies are taking damages from any source, you can shoot the floor and it's not going to reset it. If enemies are not taking any damage from any sources for over a second, then yes, it will reset it. We have some more prompt criticals and the Trevenator. Recently, it got a pretty big buff and now it's really good. Rest in peace, Trevor. Another Plague Bearer, some more Boogeymans, uh, some more Old Gods, and a Snowdrift Victory Rush. I pretty much only use this for getting around, but if you don't have DLC for the Pearl of Knowledge, this will be a really good backup. Alright, that's it for the gear, so let's go ahead and cover the skill tree. Now, as of November 10th, 2020, Iron Cub still sucks. So it's only going to be used for debuffing enemies with the target softening. We're not going to be using iron bears, so there's no jumping in your mech and jumping out. First up, we have big surplus. When your action skill is on cooldown, you get bonus fire damage. That fire damage does not only apply to your bullets, it applies for everything. So if you melee the enemy, fire damage. If you throw a grenade, extra fire damage. Now, because we got to move down the tree, we have to choose from these skills, and the only one that really helps is biofuel. 
when you burn your enemy, you're going to get a little health regen. It's really not a whole lot, but we got to move down the tree. Harmonious Havoc. Whatever the element is with your gun, if you match that gun element with your shield and grenade and other guns, you will get bonus gun damage. If you really want to, you can put on four fire guns, a fire old god, and a fire grenade. That would technically give you 60% bonus gun damage. And finally for purple, we have Fired Up. When you apply a status effect to the enemy, you get increased fire rate. This can stack five times, so you get 25% bonus fire rate, and that's quite a bit. Oh, for your augment, it doesn't really matter what you choose because these are both not really going to do a whole lot, but if you want to, put on fuel for the fire just in case Iron Cup trips a barrel or something. Alright, now for blue tree, we have our fire and skag den. You get bonus fire damage on all of your splash damage, and you get mayhem scaling off the skills, so you get a ridiculous amount of fire damage. Means of destruction, when you do splash damage, you have a chance for grenades and ammo back. This will keep you at infinite ammo for your guns and grenades. Toward cross promotion, you get bonus splash damage and a chance for double splash damage radius. Stainless Steel Bear. Now, you might be thinking, why this skill if you don't care about Iron Cup damage? Well, for whatever reason, this skill will boost Fire into Skag Den's bonus fire damage. Why? I don't know. Pull the Holy Pen, only one point here, the other three are from my class mod. This will let your grenades crit and activate your redistribution skill. You want that. Vampire, when you throw your cloning maddening tracker, it's gonna hit enemies and heal you. That's gonna make sure you don't die. To the last, you can throw grenades and fight for your life. Now, the reason I like this skill is because you can keep your consecutive hits annoy up. Short Fuse. Whenever you shoot the enemy, you have a chance for a secondary explosion for even more damage. This gets Mayhem scaling to a ridiculous amount. In fact, most of your damage on this build comes from this skill right here. You definitely want this. For Orange Tree, we have Armored Infantry. When you have any shield, you get bonus gun damage and damage reduction. Drowning in Brass. When you get a kill, you get a stack, and that can stack three times. It lowers your fire rate by a tiny bit, but you get up to 60% bonus gun damage. Finally, Experimental Munitions. When you hit a critical hit, you get bonus fire damage. For Green Tree, we have Cloud of Blood. Every fourth shot will be free and do fire damage. Stoke the Embers. You will get bonus fire damage. Redistribution. When you score a critical hit, you get ammo regen and health regeneration. Remember, our grenades can hit critical hits, so this will be active all the time. One point in Scrappy because these don't matter. That will give you a little bit of weapon damage and swap speed. Finally, Scorching RPMs. That will give you more fire rate and critical hit damage. Alright, that's it for the skills, so let's go ahead and show off the build. Okay, we're on Mayhem 11, max difficulty, and this build is very straightforward. So, you summon your Iron Cub, throw grenades, and you shoot. That's it. Keep throwing grenades, keep shooting, and things are gonna die. So now that we're at max stacks for our consecutive hits and our Pearl of Knowledge, you can see that things melt in no time at all. So that was the Boogeyman, let's go ahead and do the, what do we have here? The Plasma Coil. Uh, this thing is ridiculous. Look at this. This is Shock on Flesh too, by the way. Most of the damage comes from Skagdan and the Short View skill, but either way, it is still ridiculous. What's funny is you don't even see their health bars go down. Like, they're there, and then they're gone. Like, right there. Gone. And then this guy, gone. Gone. <laughs> now for the Prompt Critical, we can go ahead and shoot this. And yeah, you can see it deletes enemies also. Now, the Prompt Critical does have a pretty small mag, so you want to make sure you keep spamming grenades and getting your ammo regen. If you do reload, you will lose the splash damage bonus on the Blastmaster. Then you gotta wait about one minute to charge it back up. Triple health bar, right? Yep, he died. Now, for the Trevenator, let's go ahead and try it out. So, that guy got deleted. And then you, you're gone. Uh, yeah, mobbing's pretty straightforward, so let's go ahead and go to Trant. I think for Trant, we're gonna do... How about the Plasma Coil? Yeah, it is Shock, so why not? Hop down, and I did not save quit after my testing. Try it again. There you are. So stack the consecutive hits in the pearl. There we go. That should be good. Iron Cub. Shoot Trot. And he's dead. Now, it could have been even more if I did go for critical hits. But not a big deal. Go for the chest. And he's dead. Yeah, sorry, Grave Ward, but not really. I don't know if I should feel bad. Anyways, I think you get the point now. This build is ridiculous and is probably one of my new favorite Moe's builds. So again, if you do want to download it for yourself, I will link it in the description. And that save is going to be in PC format. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like because that would be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day and I will see you all later. Peace out.